my little pretties. Pretties, what's up? It's your Mr. Sashawn Linus here. First of all, before I get started with this movie review, I would like to apologize for the lack of uploads yesterday. It was because I was having a really rough day and I didn't feel like uploading too much because, you know, I was having a really rough day yesterday. But other than that, I am going to try to upload as much as I can, even though I've been through some rough times, but yeah. Today we are going to review a remake of a movie that I already reviewed, you know, a while ago. And today we're going to review Charlotte's Web. Now this remake came out, this is a live action remake that came out in 2006. And this one has um, Dakota Fanning, who plays as Fern in this movie. And of course we do get a lot of other actors to play as the animals, like to voice the animals, even though it's live action. I actually thought that this movie was going to be, you know, bad, but there are parts of the movie that is pretty interesting, but here's something I'm going to be honest. I'm not that big on Charles Webb remake. I don't know why I just never got interested in the remake, so I'm pretty much just not interested in the remake, but I decided to review it because I watched it when I was younger. I really didn't care too much about it or paid any much attention. But now as an adult, I rewatched this for like the first time in a long time. And I could definitely say that it's changed. Now, first of all, I'm going to, you know, basically explain about this episode. Well, this movie. Now, basically the movie plot is basically the same. Like this movie plot is... Pretty much the same as the original Charlotte's Web animated movie that came out in 1973. The plot is basically the same as that one. That I do know it is just the same as that one. I can definitely say that. Now, for those who haven't, you know, seen Charlotte's Web in a long time or even want to know what this remake is about, um, I'm basically going to explain it because, you know, the plot is basically the same. And I'm just going to warn everyone right now that I will be spoiling everything about this um, live action remake. So if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you click off this video right now and go watch another of my videos if you want to. Okay, with that said, I think we should get started now. Basically, you know, it's the same plot. So you obviously probably remember from the original Charlotte's Web movie. So you probably will remember, you know the plot of it. So let's get started. So first of all, it starts off with Fern, who is played by Dakota Fanning, stops her dad from killing an innocent little pig named Wilbur, which that's who she names, which was the runt of the litter of pig piglets that were born this morning. And so Fern takes care of Wilbur as a baby, and then he gets sold to Homer Zuckerman's farm. And when he gets there, he ends up finding out the bad, the worst truth with all the animals saying that he's going to turn into smoke, bacon, and ham, and they're going to kill him when he, once he's fat enough. So basically, Wilbur gets upset as he doesn't want to die, but however, his uh, he gets a new spider friend named Charlotte who is willing to help. So throughout the movie, she's trying to, you know, save Wilbur's life from, you know, from the threat that is coming. So basically... She's writing words on the wall like some pig, he's terrific, radiant, and etc. So as she's doing that, Homer Zuckerman decides not to kill Wilbur and take him to the county fair. Charlotte goes there too, and of course she has her egg sack, you know, all ready see, with all of her children. She said that she, they won't be making it back to the barn because she's dying. So Templeton the rat was able to get... um. The egg sack, um, you know, no, out of, of where Charlotte had stored them into the cart, and, well, into the crate that Wilbur came in, and Charlotte basically passes, and when Wilbur gets back to the farm, all the spider eggs hatch, and the best thing I could definitely say was that ever since the egg, the, the eggs hatch, the, um, the free spy most of the spiders went away, but however, three of them stayed, which 
that's basically pretty much the movie. Now, like I'm going to say right now, it's basically the plot and everything about it is just the same as the original movie. But here are some a little, there are some flaws, well, a couple of flaws that I want to make a mention. Now, well, one of them is live action, which I do not mind live action remakes. I actually found them to be, you know, quite interesting. But, however, though, the thing that kind of bothers me about it, like, not entirely, but kind of do, is the fact that, you know, it's just, I don't know what it is, but, you know, some parts of the movie from the original movie is not in here. You know, and there's some, in this remake, there are some stuff that they added to it, like, you don't see Templeton get, you know, chased by crows in the animated movie, but in this one, you do see him get, you know, chased by crows. That's one part of the movie I can definitely see. And, yeah, that's basically one of them. Now, I can't really point out too many flaws, but you guys could probably already see what flaws that are in this um, movie. Now, <sighs> oh, pardon me, I'm a little tired this morning, so pardon me about that, but, yeah. I'm not that big on the live-action remake of Charlotte's Web. I just wasn't really interested in it. I'm still not really that interested in it, but I like the... But I like the original one. The cartoon one was always funny. But even though both endings where Charlotte, you know, where Charlotte dies, yeah, that's really sad. I can definitely say that. You know, that is a very sad part. So that's something I can definitely say is that it is sad. But, you know, it's pretty... It's a pretty good movie. Well, it's okay to me, but I'm not that crazy on it. I just really didn't care about the movie. In my honest opinion, it's not the same as the original movie was, but but for those who like this movie, I respect their opinion. And if they don't respect my well, if they don't respect my opinion, then they can go away. Well, basically trolls won't will won't accept it, but if you guys uh don't like this movie, that's fine. If you like this movie, I can respect your opinion on it, too. Now, with that said, I'm going to give this movie a 5 out of 10. It's only giving a 5 because the voice acting did a great job. Uh, the plot line is pretty much the same, which I'm glad. But there were a couple of flaws in the movie that kind of, you know, took everything away. And one of them being it's not the same as the original movie. So that is definitely something I can really say about the movie. But, you know, with that said, if you guys like this movie, that's fine. Like, the live-action remake, that's okay. If you don't like it, that's fine, too. So, yeah. But I like the fact that the voice act, the voice acting was a good job, I could definitely say. And, you know, I can understand they were trying to come up with something different while they were, you know, making the movie. But to me, it's just not the same as the original movie has been. That's that's the only um thing I could say. But other than that, this movie was actually pretty good. Well, not good, but... Well, it was okay, but I really didn't care about it. So, that's all I could definitely say. Now, anyways, what did you all think about this movie? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Also, what would you have done person to help make this movie a lot better? Leave me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section down below. I'm the Channel Linus. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. And if you're brand new here to this channel... Be sure you like, comment, and subscribe because I make brand new videos every single day. Uh, don't forget to ring the notification bell so you will get notified to my next uploads. And with that said, I will be seeing you all in the next video. Peace out.